Hi there, this is Chris from theinkslinger.co.uk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install a tool that will sit on your system preferences on your Mac and allow you to throttle your upload and download speeds. Uh, there's a couple of prerequisites for this, one of which is that you have uh, Xcode installed. Um, now if you don't have Xcode installed you can find that on the Mac App Store. Just open that up and type in Xcode and it'll be the first one that appears under developer tools. Uh, the second prerequisite is that you're registered as an Apple developer. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be paying your $90 a year or however much it is. Uh, you can register as a free developer and to be honest, if you're gonna have Xcode installed, if you wanted to do any playing around with Objective-C or Swift, then um, it's, it's a good idea to register as a free developer anyway because you get access to additional tools, such as one we're going to be using today. So go ahead and open up Xcode, and we're actually going to ignore this welcome screen. We're going to go to the Xcode menu and open Developer Tool and ignore all of these that are presented to us. We're going to go to More Developer Tools. This will open up your browser window. Uh, it'll ask you to log in to your Apple Developer uh, account. See, I'm already logged in. And what we're actually looking for is the hardware I.O. tools for Xcode. OK, now one of the tools or in fact, the tool that we actually want is listed here, the network link conditioner uh, preference pane. So let's just go ahead and download that. I have actually already downloaded it, so I don't know why I'm downloading it again. I'm going to open up that DMG. And here we go. I'm just going to double click on the network link conditioner pref pane here. It wants to be installed, so we'll let that happen. Type in your password. And there we go. It just loads itself onto your system preferences. Let's just go back there. It'll now sit down on the bottom row, probably, if you've got uh, room there. And so every time you want to do some throttling, you just open up your system prefs open up network network link conditioner. Now there's actually a couple of pre built in profiles here. Now, for example, I the reason I need to use the network link conditioner is every time I try and do an upload of a video to YouTube, my internet connection just completely drops out. Now through a little bit of experimentation, I discovered that this will not happen as long as I throttle my upload to 980 kilobytes per second which is quite ridiculous um, and fairly random. So I'm going to create a new profile here called um, video uploads. Spell uploads correctly. And all I'm going to do, I'm actually going to uh, allow myself to download a mighty 100 megabits per second, even though my connection is nowhere near that. Um, I probably don't really need to do that. And the uplink bandwidth, I'm going to restrict that to 980 kilobytes per second. Okay, that's my profile loaded. So now every single time I want to upload something to YouTube, I open up my system prefs, network link conditioner, select the right profile, switch it on, and there we go. You see this icon appears up at the top here, and we're rolling. I hope this has been useful to you. Um, if you have any questions, please post a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also visit me at theinkslinger.co.uk and you can come and say hi on Twitter at Lord underscore Chancellor. Until next time.